Now, the reason why I'm at the storage unit right now, or more accurately, the Death Star, is because, not to reorganize, which I really should do, I plan on doing that sometime later in the month if I can find time. Frankly, my sole purpose here for today is to find some cash. I want to find some inflatables to sell or trade to collect a few other inflatables, not for St. Patrick's Day, not for Easter, but to just be able to, you know, buy a good amount of stuff again to have reviews lined up because I don't like the feeling of not having any content, you know, scheduled, ready to go, or at least something in mind. And I, I've got a few. I feel somewhat comfortable, but it's not quite the reassuring feeling that I'm used to. So I am looking for some things to sell or trade because I want this 2014 Christmas pageant Charlie Brown snow globe. Someone on Facebook has it and they're looking to trade for it. They said, okay, uh, how about the haunted house you have? I'll give you 250 additional dollars and I will cover shipping for the haunted house and the Christmas pageant snow globe. I thought, you know, that's a pretty generous deal, but no, no way can I part ways with this 12 foot haunted house. I haven't even done a review on it, which I probably should. Things just didn't fall into place for that review. I don't know why it just didn't happen, but I cannot get rid of it. I just can't, at least not for many, many years. So what I'm going to do, I have one inflatable for sure that I know I'm going to sell. And that is the Merry Christmas get a good look here or upside down yeah so the merry christmas train i did a review on that about a year ago i will be selling that probably for somewhere around 150 160 bucks yeah honestly i'm gonna be looking for anything that i'm just ready to part ways with that i'm like you know what i'm done with that i don't need it let's move on let me you know get as much out of it as i can for the last moments that i will have with it and i would love to have some additional bills so i'm back at the storage unit again this time with two clear objectives. I've got to pick up the cat that I am trading and oh my God, are my shoes squeaking? I'm picking up the cat, trading that for the Peanuts Proto plus $140. I can't find the cat. I forgot where it went. I thought it was back here. Oh, it's right here. Okay. I love how I stacked everything up on top. Ultra wide would really be handy right now. Hold up. I dislike that it darkens the video, but it's worth it to be able to see in a wider frame. This box is so unnecessarily large. It's so oversized. I'm literally going to ship it in something the size of like probably the helicopter. And I gave it the same size tote. Let's see, what is that? 66 liters, 70 quarts. I think that is the same box Oogie has. Or no, let's compare. This is 55. So literally the 10 and a half foot Oogie, that's like the fattest inflatable you could possibly get. I give a smaller tote than the cat. That is, that's ridiculous. That is why I'm running out of space. But there are some scenarios where the tote will be more beneficial. And I think one of those cases is when you put, if you have two of the same inflatable, putting them in the same tote is actually really, really smart. Not only consolidates things, but it also just makes it easier for when you're going to, you know, fish them out for the holidays. You can just pick up the tote and you got it. <laughs> the freaking Charlie Brown glow. You can see it says 2X Nutcrackers. I don't know if I, I don't think I actually revealed this to you, but yeah, I've, I've used this tote to put both the Nutcrackers in and same goes for the 20 footers which you probably can't see because it's just so dark so i'm about to take this cardboard box i'm going to put the black cat in it and get it packed up and shipped out tomorrow what i want to do because there's no actual i guess shipping unboxing for the leprechaun in that one's review i haven't filmed it yet but by the time that this vlog comes out that review will already have been released and you guys know i i just didn't open it up from here so i'm gonna do that now it looks really good it's just it's so satisfying how protected uh this is let's see thank you flipping fisher's ebay store that's pretty sweet all right so here it is wow that's fancy i guess i can just take it out like that yeah let's see how clean oh my god I feel like this thing's never been, I mean, obviously they used it, they took it out to take pictures of it, but there's like not a scratch on it. I mean, there is that little chip right there or not chip, but you know what I mean? Check the other side. Yeah. I'm not seeing it really anything. I mean, I guess there are, yeah. If you look at it, like with the glare, the glare will actually kind of highlight the, uh, the dents and kind of markings on it. But no, this thing is in excellent condition. Wow. Yep, 2004. It's pretty phenomenal. 
it's it's a sweet inflatable i'm really glad uh that i have it i think i got it for a pretty good deal as well obviously above retail no way that this would have sold for that much but still a uh, really really sweet purchase could it really be has the shamrock shake finally arrived i've waited so long so many days so many weeks so many hours and minutes just waiting for this day for the return of the shamrock thank you luca for sneezing is the shake machine truly not broken? It's the shamrock shake. Fulfillment. Next, on Alex as a fat ass. It is Daytona 500 day, and Luca and I are celebrating by giving into addiction. We, we kind of got a problem. So I should be doing my Mandarin right now, but I'm taking a quick break to rewatch the flip that occurred in today's Daytona 500. It was pretty dramatic, but I'm not rewatching the flip exactly. I'm rewatching the fan in the stands after this wreck. Now you can see the M&M's car right here to the bot. Well, now it's, now it's over here, but okay. So that's the flip, right? It was, that was crazy. But the golden part of this video, not even of this video, but of the race, I think in my opinion, perhaps the most entertaining was the fan that they cut to after this wreck had just happened. So this is after the wreck. This is the replay, obviously. I'll actually show you this. This is actually pretty cool. You can see just how the car, okay, never mind. They're not going to show it. So I'll back it up here. This is right after the wreck. Okay. Well, actually this, yeah, this is just right after the wreck. It has just happened and they're going to cut to a fan of the M&M's car. It's hysterical. I love it. The camera is focused on no one else. I mean, it's that group of people, but literally everyone knows exactly what he said and you didn't have to hear it at all. I thought it was absolutely hysterical. Felt like I really needed to share it with y'all. Don't ever gamble your money away because you're always a winner just as long as you have. A shamrock shake. Mmm, smackin'. 